the ideal gas law. So there's uh, Boyle's law, Charles' law, uh, Gay-Lussac's law, there's lots of different laws that allow us to compare when conditions are changing for volumes and uh, temperatures and pressures of gases. The ideal gas law is basically a, an equation that allows us to solve for this gas under these conditions, what do we got going on here? So it allows for us to disconnect pressure, volume, amount of moles, or the temperature under any conditions just to solve for this gas. So this P here is, is going to be pressure. It can be any unit of pressure you want. It can be uh, millimeters of mercury. It can be atmospheres. It can be uh, uh, PSI. It doesn't make a difference. You can choose any pressure you want to be here. Based off the pressure you choose, you will choose an appropriate R gas constant. So this is the, uh, the gas constant is R, and there's appropriate numbers that you put in based off of the pressure that you've chosen. You do not need to memorize these numbers here. All right, these things were given to you, so you just need to use that number based off of whatever unit is using here. Your volume for the ideal gas equation will always come out to be in liters. The lowercase n is going to be the amount of moles of the gas you have, and temperature has to be in Kelvin. So again, uh, just reminder, whenever you do any calculations for gases, you want to be in Kelvin for your temperature. So again, this is just you know, a very, very powerful equation which allows us to relate how pressure, pressure, volume, the amount of gas, and the temperature of gas is all connected together.